in Tripoli are basically um, broadly three main things. Communication is there, power, energy is there, and microelectronics, VLSI is there. So in communication, like we know about this mobile communication or totally digital communication uh, through satellites. Uh, so that part, like communication and computers, these are the two technologies which will affect every arena of human endeavor, every arena. You talk, or, uh, talk of consumer products or you talk of industry, any organization it is going to affect computers and communications. Now, what is the driving force for computers? Like for Tripoli students, it's the architecture part. Like what is made, computer is made of ICs only. You know? And then there is a software part, there is a hardware part. Hardware part is all ICs. You know? How much compact you can make, how much could be their processing power and what smaller space you can put them. You know? So that is microelectronics and VLSI. You know? And software is like uh, the programming part that you are doing and actually the what is happening these days is that data is like it's a big data these days so you have to analyze that data so for that you need to have uh, even data mining techniques ai techniques you need to uh, learn so other thing is very important thing is power every device you need energy power and fossil fuel is depleting because earth sources are limited, how long you can extract. So you have to go for renewable. And in India, we are very fortunate that we have solar and wind in abundance. We have almost 360 days of sun in our country. And work is going on, government is emphasizing that you can have connected to the grid also. You can give the solar energy to the grid, you can take it. So these are the three, these are the major areas for Tripoli. For e and I, one important area is process industry. Like process industry, it could be chemical, fertilizers, textile, paper, pulp, food industry, power industry. So all these industries, now they are totally automated these days. And it's all communication and computers. So for that, you need a very specialized skill because previously normal engineers, operators, they used to do. But now they cannot operate that sophisticated human machine interfaces there. So for that, we need um, like instrumentation engineers, those who have good knowledge. The other is this medical and health field. This is again gaining a lot of importance because longevity is increasing, uh, diseases also because so much pollution. So we need uh, like for health sector, we need uh, like what kind of instruments are there, their operation or new instruments like early detection of cancer. There are many of our students who have gone abroad for MS, PhD, and they are working on this uh, sensors based on photonics, nanotechnology for early detection of cancer also. And basically these three, IT, nanotechnology, and this biotechnology, now these are the three fields which are merging together, for research at least I am talking. Other is this artificial intelligence field. Nowadays you are hearing so much about driverless vehicles you are hearing. These uh, in artificial intelligence is playing games uh, for playing games, etc. No? So, recent to yesterday only I got that news no, that robot is taking college exam. So, they will be <laughs> so there means these uh, autonomous vehicles. No? So, they will be coming in our day to day life. No? So, there is artificial intelligence is another field. No? You can learn about expert systems, fuzzy logic, neural networks, then optimization techniques, which are based on uh, behavior of the, like swarm intelligence is there, then uh, moth flame optimization techniques are there, genetic algorithms are there. So that is another field in which one can work. Then embedded system is there. We want nowadays instruments which are portable, they have their intelligence embedded. So hardware, software, co-design, no? that, that is there. So we have talked about robotics, embedded systems, this, and then um, interdisciplinary fields also we have talked. Then there are certain students, I'm saying they're going for consulting, they're going for finance. So uh, that depends on your interest, like if you're interested in finance, you can go. Consulting, you require more like communication skills, leadership skills, analytical skills. 
these are and in instrumentation there is another field which is uh, manufacturing of instruments like you have yokogawa emil is there mm. so they make instruments you have analysis instrumentation like pollution monitoring is to be done so the instruments for that so entrepreneurship is also one thing like you can make such instruments like uh, nowadays so much uh, this contamination in food oil water you know? so that can be detected so there is a scope like milk contamination you want to know in oils edible oils if there is any contamination so entrepreneurs we need such kind of persons who can make embedded Uh, portable systems inexpensive which can be taken and any everybody can buy it easily like milkman comes to our house i can just put it and come to know whether how much fat is there is it a genuine milk or not so that kind of thing. then another thing is about this education area uh, because now the style of learning teaching that is changing very fast so the next new generation they enjoy learning using computers animations so digit development of digital content your self evaluation you learn something like mooc courses you have yes. so many students i have seen uh, at least two students in a knowledge ashram is there but uh, abhinav agrawal is there so he has developed he has gone into that only development of digital content so these are some of the areas